So hi, Ellen. What a pleasure it is to be able to collaborate with you uh, in these in this coming series of concerts, and and so delighted to for our audiences to get to know you uh, and your music better. So can you tell us a little bit about you know what you're hoping audiences experience from getting to know your music this season? Well, I you know I always say when somebody says to me what should I listen for in your music, and I always say the very next thing. Because what we do, as, as you know so well, is temporal. It's not something you can put on the blackboard. And just the experience of following what the music is going to do from the very outset to the end of the, of the piece. And um, that, to me, is always a great pleasure. And I hope the audience has that same pleasure. Yeah, there, there's, I always feel that in your music, this incredible forward momentum and the story that it tells, you know, whether it's an obvious one or just internal in the music, there's always something to follow along with your, with your music, which I think is going to lend itself especially well to this video format and the way mm. we're going to kind of tell um, that story. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, of, of course, you know, you, you, your music is performed all around the world, but I'm really excited because uh, you actually do have a connection here uh, to Santa Rosa. Can you tell us a little about that? Well, I, uh, in uh, 1990, I believe it was, I found myself in a Peanuts cartoon <laughs> where Marcy and Peppermint Patty were at a concert and my flute concerto was being played. And... Um, of course, Marcy's sitting there like this, you know, at the beginning of the of the cartoon. And um, when when uh, Pepper, Peppermint Patty, I mean Peppermint Patty, I'm sorry, is sitting there with her arms folded, and Marcy said, "By the way, this next piece is by Ellen Zwillick, who just happens to be a woman." And in the last frame, uh, Peppermint Patty is standing on her chair with her arm raised, saying, "Good going, Ellen." And um, I always say that, fortunately, I read the New York Times, uh, and I was out of time, town for the day, so I didn't see the cartoon. If I had just opened a paper and seen that cartoon, I don't think I'd be here. I think he would have died of a heart attack or something, you know, and um, it, that led to getting in touch with, with Charles Schultz, which... Um, has led to, it led to a very, very lovely friendship. And um, uh, I also then, when I was first at the Carnegie Hall with the composer's chair, the actual composer's chair, <laughs> um, the, the first thing that, that we thought would be very nice for me to do would be to write something for a family concert. So uh, contacted Charles Schultz and, um, did Peanuts Gallery, uh, or piano and orchestra. Of course, it had to have piano, you know, I mean, <laughs> uh, Schroeder, of course, uh, needed a piano. Um, but this really led to a wonderful friendship, and uh, Sparky and Jeannie came to New York back a couple of times and all of that sort of thing, and, um, and I, you know, we went to Santa Rosa, and uh, it was just... Um, Jeannie and I are still very, very good friends, you know, and uh, it, was, it was quite a remarkable experience. And so Santa Rosa has a very, very uh, warm place in my heart, I have to say. <laughs> That's, that's so wonderful to hear. And, and of course, I'm so sorry that we won't be able to have you on the ground with us um, um, this coming season. But in an in a, in a odd way, we get to actually see more of you now through this virtual format. You'll be a part of all five of our concerts yeah, and yeah, so yeah. much of our virtual activities in our community. So thank you so much for taking this journey with us and can't wait to get oh, started. Oh, I'm just thrilled with it. I think it's wonderful. And I always say, you know, the best part of me is in the music. So the best part of me will be there. <laughs>